hey cubbies out there I just wanted to show you a little thing I came up with in desperation uh, I didn't have the money to buy a, a new voltage regulator couldn't find one as a matter of fact uh, I went to Napa I called around and the only ones that were out there were 80 to 100 bucks or more uh, there were a bunch of used ones out there, but I wasn't prepared to go used. And uh, But anyway, I have this voltage regulator, uh, which was the original on my 105. This is my 105 Cub Cadet. And uh, it was the original when I bought the tractor. It may have been changed out uh, years ago, but... This is the one that I have, and it's the only one that I have that actually works. And what happened with this particular one was that the rubbers dry rotted on me, and they cracked. And the thing was flopping around this summer. I was uh, working in my garden, and I went to change. I went to put gas in it, in in the tractor, and I saw that this thing was laying down on the the heat shield here so what I did was I uh, went to the store like I said before couldn't find out one that was uh, economical to buy even the ones that are made in China I guess or rare as hen's teeth so anyway I had two spare tractors that I scavenged parts for off of occasionally for this one and what I did was I took a sander and I took one voltage regulator. Neither of them work. I had two of them. So I took the best rubbers, the best s situation that you have here, and I sanded the very carefully. I did it very carefully. I took the cap, I took the cover off of it so that it, I could run the, sa the belt sander. It's a, a vertical belt sander I use for grinding uh, knife blades. And I very carefully sanded off the heads from the rivets that were holding the mounting uh, uh, studs that are, are tabs, mounting tabs that are connected to the floor of the voltage regulator. And I took the this one here off of uh, a, another voltage regulator which had uh, intact rubbers. And so I took the I did the same thing on both sides, bottom and top, and I took the old mounting junk off of this one in the same fashion. So in other words, I took the old junk off and I put the new ones on here. And what I did was I used regular old pop rivets. These happen to be aluminum. Uh, I didn't have any steel ones, but they seemed to be working. And all I did was uh, I configured a little bit of a jury-rigged uh, grounding strap here and mounted it to the to the bolt. And now that I have this uh, firmly attached, now I can do some plowing. And uh, being in this winter, uh, I really need this tractor to clear my driveway and the paths around my house. So I thought I would uh, pass along that little tech tip to you. And it seems to work pretty good. And uh, I have plenty of pop rivets. So uh, if it does fail on me at one point or another, I can uh, replace it very quickly and easily. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little trick that I uh, kind of came up with. I'm sure other people have done it, but anyway... I uh, hope you learned a little bit and catch you later.